So I accidentally ran my uh, QDX at uh, 14 volts uh, and ran it for a whole day uh, as a whisper beacon. And I uh, think uh, what I did is uh, I blew one or more of the uh, of the output uh, FETs. And uh, you can see that if you have a look up at the uh, at my uh, voltage supply here. If I put this into tune mode, uh, it consumes about a quarter of an amp uh, as opposed to about 1.1 amps from before. And then if you we have a look over at the oscilloscope, let me just pan over there. So let's just pan over to the oscilloscope and uh, straighten it up, zoom in a bit. If I hit uh, transmit or tune on, the, you can see I'm just getting around about 4.4 volts peak to peak. So that's uh, obviously what, a, a lot uh, less than it should be. Uh, my suspicion is one or more of those uh, FETs are blown. So what I thought I might do is uh, just do a quick repair of this and uh, get it back on the air and uh, film my progress. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken off the heat sink. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, desolder all these uh, four FETs here and we'll test each one and uh, we'll see if they're indeed faulty. Okay, so there's the uh, board with the FETs removed. Um, I did have to use a uh, desoldering gun for that, uh, but it came out pretty easily. Uh, so let's go through and test each of the FETs and see if we can find which ones are the misbehaving ones. Okay, so let's test the first one here. Diode junction, so that one's definitely bad. Okay, so let's check the second one. Hmm, well, that one appears good. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Oh, that one says it's good too. Okay, so let's test the final one. And it says it's an LED, so uh, this one's bad too. Uh, what I might do is actually replace all four. I've got plenty of BS-170s, which is what these are. Um, and the others are probably near failure uh, as well, running uh, at uh, 14 volts uh, for all that time. Anyway, so I'll replace all four and come back and we'll test the board. Okay, so there's the uh, FET soldered to the board to, together with the nut that uh, fixes the, uh, the faces of the BS-170s to the heatsink on the board. Uh, let's uh, put it on the oscilloscope and give it a check. Okay, so let me hit tune on the WSJTX. And there you can see it's now uh, consuming an amp like it did before. And if you have a look at, up at the oscilloscope there, you can see, uh, let me just uh, stop that so I can turn this off. You can see uh, around about 45.2 volts uh, peak to peak, which is around about five watts. So uh, uh, definitely those uh, BS-170s were the culprit. Um, I've, like I said, I've replaced all four and I'll have to stop running this at uh, 14 volts by accident. Anyway, thought you might enjoy this, that's all for now. Okay, so as a final confirmation, uh, I've got it running in whisper mode here. We're about the end of a transmit cycle, so let's uh, go up and see if I was able to contact anyone. Well, it's not, it's not spectacular, but it's not a great time for uh, uh, for 20 meters in the day right now, but as you can see I've reached out to a couple of people and that confirms that we're uh, back on the air So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little quick video and uh, that's all for now